Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Persitha, and I got a special little package from Ohuhu with their watercolor brush pen set. These are 50 colors. Look at all these beautiful colors, and they look like brush tip pins, like what you would use for inking. They're, they look like inking brush tip pins. And they also send you two water brushes along with the 50 colors. So you've got two water brushes to work with, plus all these 50 awesome watercolor brushes. I have never worked with watercolor brushes before in my entire life, so this is a first time thing for me. Um, so I thought that maybe they are similar to watercolor pencils. So I went ahead and I swatched out a couple of my favorite colors, which happens to be my favorite galaxy colors. Um, I have worked with Ohuhu before. I have not worked with them before with these kind of markers, but I have done um, their marker set, which is their alcohol-based markers, and I've done a video with this company before, and they are very well known for awesome quality art supplies because I just find that the colors are so vibrant, and I, <laughs> yeah, so this is these watercolor brushes, just getting to know this a little bit. It is a lot like watercolor pencils, except they're a little stronger than watercolor pencils. Now, if you are a huge watercolor enthusiast, then I would encourage you to try watercolor markers at least one point in your art. So I was looking at their package and I thought, hey, maybe I can do some watercolor flowers just to test it out and try some of these colors out and you see how vibrant the colors are and I was using the water brush pen so I thought okay I practiced on my flowers let me go ahead and go up to the next step up and try a stitch watercolor using these watercolor markers <laughs> I don't know every time I think of a hoo hoo I think of an a, a Hawaiian theme so I think of Moana so I drew out a little doodle stitch sitting down with some hibiscus behind him because um um, I just thought I, I tried the watercolor floral and I think that watercolor floral or just flowers in general are so pretty and so hibiscus as being one of the main Hawaiian flowers I went ahead and put it behind stitch as a background now the thing about these watercolor markers um, once again they are similar to when you're applying watercolor pencils if you worked with watercolor pencils before you kind of go ahead and you lay your colors out and you try to mix everything at first so in case you don't have time to do layers um, I found that I can only get about two or three layers on watercolor markers as opposed to a regular watercolor and the same thing is for watercolor pencils I can only get about three or two layers um, depending on how in depth I want to go into but when I'm doing regular watercolor with watercolor palettes then I can get about five or six layers if I just keep piling on and on and on um, Trying to be able to dilute and get a good solid first base was a little difficult with the watercolor markers, these brush pens, and I don't know, they were just, it, it wasn't that it was difficult, it was just, it's new to me, and it's always, tr it's always great to try new stuff, but I, w I think I was just applying my knowledge from watercolor pencils into water mar watercolor markers a little bit too much. But what I kept doing was I kept going and making layer and layer and layer and layer and I got used to the watercolor markers eventually. It's just that you have to be able to pull it over with the water. They are a little bit harder to pick up as in if you pile it on in a really thick area, for example, Stitch's purple ear, if you pile it on, you have to put a lot of water on top of that to go ahead and move it around. If not, it just kind of turns into a puddle, stays where it is, and then it turns into a cool effect, but at the same time, it's a cool effect, but at the same time, you don't really want that to happen. <laughs> so I just went ahead and I kept adding layer on top of layer because I was just trying my best to dilute it and get that good first layer. But the thing is you have to wait till it's completely dry to put on a second layer and you have to avoid piling on a bunch of color just using the marker or you're gonna get this little blob sitting there of this really dark color and you don't really want it to be there because you're just trying to shade. So you have to move it around a lot with the water brush pen and that's what I like about the water brush pen 
is that I don't have to keep going back and forth, back and forth with my paintbrush and grabbing water. All I gotta do is just squeeze the top of it and it gives me a lot of water. Or if I squeeze a lot of it, then it just puddles all around. Um, but I like that I can use the water brush pen to just kind of just work around and I don't have to worry about looking at my water cup and seeing if it's getting too dirty with a certain color and it's going to taint my other colors. So I really like that they supplied two of those in the package of 50 colors. This is, this is a very vibrant color set and I like how vibrant everything is just because I mean, some watercolors can be a little bit dull, and some palettes can be a little dull, and some watercolor pencils, they can be dull as well. So it's really nice to work with these markers for the first time and see how awesome the color quality is because it's just bright. I mean, look at those greens in the corner. I was having so much fun with playing with the colors and just trying to get them all onto my little stitch postcard. I, it was a lot of fun, and I think that if you really want to try these watercolor markers, I would go and try and check out Ohuhu, and I'll leave down in the comments below, not in the comments, but in the info box, as well as the comments, the actual link to take you to get these watercolor markers from Ohuhu. Thank you, Ohuhu, for sending me these watercolor markers and for at least giving me a chance and a challenge to try out watercolor markers for the first time because I love watercolor and this is a great venue. It's really fun to make postcards with. Look at this cute little stitch. It's so great. If you want your own, look in the comments down below as well in the info box. Have a most wonderful day. Bye!